Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel and in this video I will show you how to create a part like this in FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a completely free 3D CAD system that can be used for both hobby and commercial purposes. We can use this system freely even when doing paid projects. To start using FreeCAD all you need to do is download and install this system. There is no need to register anywhere. Just download and you can start creating your own 3D models. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do. And if you like my tutorials and would like to thank me in some way for my work, you can support this channel. You can find the link in the description of the video. I am currently using FreeCAD version 1.0 release candidate. This is a development version, but I am using standard commands here and you will be able to create such a part in other versions as well. The goal of this lesson is not only to design this part, but also to show you the basic operations of creating 3D models in FreeCAD through this example. Ok, let's open a new project in the Part Design Workbench. Select the Part Design Workbench and create a new project. Here we will start by creating a sketch on the XY plane. To create a sketch we select the Create Sketch command and then select the sketch plane. We simply click the left mouse button on the plane where we want to create the sketch and in this case we click on the XY plane. Now this plane is active, we select the rectangle drawing tool. Here we choose the centered rectangle command and draw a rectangle so that the center of the rectangle is constrained to the origin of the coordinate system. For this constraint to be applied automatically, make sure you have automatic constraints enabled and by the way, ensure you have automatic removal of redundant constraints enabled as well. Next, to constrain the center of the rectangle to the origin of the coordinate system, hover the cursor over this point and when this point is highlighted, click the left mouse button. Then we define the dimensions of the rectangle and in FreeCAD version 1.0, we can do this while drawing the geometry. For one dimension of the rectangle, enter 70, press enter and then for the second dimension of the rectangle, enter 40, press enter. In this way, we have drawn a rectangle with dimensions of 70 by 40 whose center coincides with the origin of the coordinate system. The rectangle is now fully constrained. This means that its position and dimensions are fully defined and we cannot freely change the shapes, positions and dimensions of the geometry. Therefore, we close the sketch. Based on this sketch, we will create a solid by extruding the sketch. Select the pad operation and enter 40 millimeters as the extrusion length. When it comes to the values in these fields, you can input values from the keyboard or you can use the mouse wheel to adjust the parameter value as well. Here we set this value to 40 millimeters. Click OK and in this way, we have created a solid by extruding the sketch by 40 millimeters. Now we will create another sketch. Besides the fact that we can create sketches on the basic planes of the coordinate systems, we can also create sketches on the flat faces of the model. We will create a sketch on this face. Select this face and choose to create a sketch. Now this face is the sketch plane. I would like to draw a rectangle here with one corner connected to this corner of the solid. However, if I now select the rectangle drawing command and want to place the corner of the rectangle in this spot, as you can see I have no constraints here. I cannot currently constrain the sketch geometry to this solid. To do this, I need to create reference geometry to the solid so that I have this reference geometry to which I can constrain the sketch. For now, I will right click to cancel the rectangle drawing command. To create reference geometry, we select the create external geometry command. Choose this command. And now, when you hover over some geometry of the solid, those geometries will be highlighted. Based on this geometry, we can create reference geometry. Hover over this line and click the left mouse button. Here, as you can see, a geometry has appeared. I will now right click to cancel this command and select the rectangle drawing tool again. Now I can constrain the corner of the rectangle to this line or to the points of this line and this reference line and its points are constrained to the solid. I will constrain the corner of the rectangle to this point. 
I hover the cursor over this point, and when this point is highlighted, I click the left mouse button to constrain the corner of the rectangle to this point. As the dimensions of the rectangle, type 30, hit enter, type 30 again, and hit enter once more. In this way, we have created a rectangle with dimensions of 30 by 30 millimeters. We close the sketch and now based on this sketch we will remove material. To do this we select the pocket operation. Here we define the length of the pocket. We can specify this length by entering a specific value here. But in this case I would like to remove material from the entire solid. We have a parameter type here and we can choose the through all option. This option will create the pocket through the entire solid. We click OK and this is what we have created. Now we will create another sketch. We will create a sketch on this face. Select this face and choose to create a sketch. Here we will create a rectangle such that the center of the rectangle is constrained to this point and the corner of the rectangle is constrained to this edge. As in the previous case, we will start with the creation of external geometry. Select the Create External Geometry command. Then hover over this line, and when this line is highlighted, click the left mouse button, and then right click to cancel this command. However, at this moment, the reference line we created is covered by the model because the sketch plane is this face of the model and this line lies on the sketch plane. In the top view, this line is covered by this part of the solid. I will go back to the top view and to make this line visible in the top view, we need to switch to the section view, that is, the view on the sketch plane. To do this, from the sketch menu, we select the view section option or click on this icon and now this line is visible. We can constrain the geometry to this line and then we select the centered rectangle command. We will place the center of the rectangle here so I hover over this point, click the left mouse button to constrain the center of the rectangle to the origin point of the coordinate system. Now I enter the dimension for the length of the rectangle, I enter 30 millimeters, press enter and this dimension, the length dimension, is now locked. As for the second dimension, I can specify a value here, but in this case I want to constrain the corner of the rectangle to this line. So I hover the cursor over this line, and when this line is highlighted, I click the left mouse button to constrain the corner of the rectangle to this line. In this case we added one dimension to the rectangle, and the second dimension is a resulting dimension based on the constraints. The sketch is fully constrained, we close the sketch, and now based on this sketch we will add an extrusion. Select the pad operation, and here we define the length of the extrusion. We will add the extrusion so that this face is at the height of this face. We can do this by entering a specific value, but if we don't know a specific value, we can use the operation type and select the up to face option. Then we point to this face and the extrusion has been created to this face. The face that will be created based on this extrusion will be constrained to this face. We click OK to confirm this and we have something like this. Now we will create another sketch. We will create a sketch on this face. Select this face and choose to create a sketch. We will start by creating reference geometry, select the create external geometry command and create reference geometry based on this edge. Now select the circle drawing command. Draw a circle such that the center of the circle lies on the Y axis, so we hover over the Y axis. When the Y axis is highlighted, we click the left mouse button. For the diameter of the circle, enter 20 millimeters. and press enter. I will right click to cancel the circle drawing command. Now I would like to place the center of the circle on this line. I select the center of the circle 
select the line and when it comes to selecting geometries in the sketcher we don't need to hold the control key. Just click the left mouse button on the geometry you want to select and those geometries will be selected. Next we choose the coincident constraint and in this way we have placed the center of the circle on this line. We close the sketch and based on this sketch we will add the pocket operation. Here we also select the type through all and click OK. Next we will create fillets on the corners of this solid. When selecting edges we select edges holding the control key. Press the control key and select these four edges of the solid. Select the fillet command and add a filler with a radius of 10 millimeters. Simply enter 10 as the radius value here and click OK to confirm it. Now we will create another sketch. Select this face and choose to create a sketch. Here we will start by creating reference geometry. Select the create external geometry command and then click on this line and on this line. Now select the circle drawing command and draw circles whose centers will lie at these points and circles with a diameter of 10 millimeters. We close the sketch and select the pocket operation. As the type we choose through all and click OK. Let's do something similar on the next face. In this way, we created something like this. It may seem that these two parts of the solid are separate solids, but the lines we have here are lines resulting from how geometry is displayed in FreeCAD. This is controlled by the refine parameter, and to change the way these lines are displayed, select the last operation in the operations tree. Here we have the refine parameter, and change this parameter from false to true. Now these lines are no longer visible, and it looks a bit better. Next we will add fillets to all the edges of the solid. To do this select the last operation in the feature tree and choose the add fillet command. Add a radius of 1 mm. Click OK and in this way we have something like this. Next we will change the appearance of this solid, right click on the body and here select the appearance option. In the material section expand these options and choose a certain appearance. For example let's choose this appearance and click close. The color of the part has been changed. With these few steps we created such a part. Through this example I was able to show you some basic operations for creating 3D models in FreeCAD. We will finish here. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.